cargo bikes were a massive part of the city's DNA, and now they are back. There's one aspect of life in Paris where this city is literally going next level, and that is cargo bikes. I never saw this coming. A city like Paris really taking this seriously, especially as logistics. I remember being here in 2008. I was amazed to see this really kind of wild cargo bike with a big box at the back and a guy taking packages out. And even this guy's going, wow, what is that? Had never seen that typology of cargo bike before. Ever since, man, Paris has been a first mover. There was a European Union project where they were doing a pilot. There was a European Union project where they were doing a pilot where they had uh, barges on the River Seine where goods would come to the barge and uh, cargo bikes would pick them up and take them uh, and distribute them around the city. And that was also like literally over a decade ago. So this is a nice little street. Loads of parking for private bikes, also lots of Vélib. That street down there is uh, Sebastopol. This is Rue du Bois-Labbé. There's some big pictograms to show you that this is a shared space, that this is pedestrian priority, but they've slapped in a whole bunch of bike racks. Really cool. Mixed neighborhood, lots of you know shops and restaurants and bars and residential as well. Well, that's basically all of Paris, but yeah, it's cool. This is new. These are cargo bike racks. I think there's three of them in a row. It's a design I've seen before in Denmark and Sweden. You lock your cargo bike to it. I don't know who it's for. You know, I don't know how many people have cargo bikes in this neighborhood. Is this for the many delivery guys who have to lock up their cargo bike while they make deliveries? That they're doing it is great. I mean, that is super cool. It's kind of a weird design. If you just have a U-lock like uh, Romain with the camera that it does, it was kind of tricky to get it to lock. I guess if you have a big chain, it might be easier. I don't know. It's also weird because it takes up a lot of space. Only one bike can fit in one of the racks. I would have made it diagonal so you could have fit in more cargo bikes because just look at all the space. Look how many bikes are parked farther up here. Like look how many Vlibs fit and there's a car. Come here. <laughs> car. Car. And then you move your hockey net and then you slide it back out when you're playing street hockey. Cultural reference. Never mind. Um, so yeah, lots of Vlibs can fit. They could have squeezed in more cargo bikes absolutely by angling it a little bit better. But yeah, it's a good effort. I'm happy to see dedicated cargo bike parking somewhere other than Denmark or the city of Malmo in Sweden. They're really good at it as well. So yay, but meh. Let's tweak it a bit, right? Cool. So a lot of cities in the world, especially here in Europe, are really trying to take cargo bikes to the next level with cargo bike logistics, last mile delivery, micro distribution points. Barcelona is also a first mover on this point, but I don't know what it is. It surprises me every single time. And all day long, living here in Paris, it's like, oh, cargo bike, cargo bike. I'm the, really the dorkiest guy to hang out with because I just get really excited when I see cargo bikes. This city, like most cities really in Europe and also other places in the world, is no stranger to cargo bikes. It was an important part of logistics for decades. There are the most beautiful photos from the 1920s and 30s and even before that. Every single shop had a cargo bike to deliver you know, pastries, to deliver meat, to deliver cheese, to do all of these different functions in the city. In the 1920s and 30s, there were cargo bike races. All the shops would send their young men, it was usually young men back then, they would send them into competitions and they would become the king of the cargo bikes and we had that in Copenhagen as well. They had that in Paris 20 years before we ever did it in Copenhagen. That is really a sign that cargo bikes were a massive part of the city's DNA and now they are back. Every city in Europe should be doing exactly what Paris is doing. Even if they only did like 50% of it, it would be absolutely epic, man. Cargo bikes, past, present, and future. Now, this is kind of a little micro distribution point for a company. They're not cargo bikes, but they're trailers that are pulled by bikes. They're everywhere in this city. There are so many. I, I, I'm just getting so excited. I don't even know what I'm just supposed to say to you here. So recently, I did a ranking of the five top cargo bike cities in Europe, and uh, I was surprised myself that Paris is at number two. Copenhagen is at number one, because there are 50,000 cargo bikes, mostly private, 
for families, but also a lot of logistics and services. You know, your carpenter, your plumber, your locksmith, they'll all come on a cargo bike in Copenhagen. Here in Paris, there are fewer private cargo bikes. There's a lot of long tail bikes instead because it's a little bit easier to navigate the weird infrastructure here. There are more and more private cargo bikes. So many logistics cargo bikes rolling around the city 24 hours a day. First mover really taking this to the next level, inspiring other cities to do the same, you know? Where I'm living, every day at the end of the day, all of these UPS trucks just kind of parade past in a bunch, like they're going back to some depot in my neighborhood. UPS has been a first mover in other cities in Europe, and they're not really here. All the packages I get from UPS in Copenhagen are delivered on a cargo bike, but not here in Paris. This is really, get some game face on UPS, man. Um, but all the other companies, local, international, you name it, you just it just never gets old. And if that's your funky thing, then you're gonna love Paris, man. So again, Paris leading the way, inspiring other cities to take it seriously, the cargo bike as transport for families, for small shops, and as an important piece of the puzzle of heavy logistics, right? Jeez, amazing Paris.